You know, I'd like to think that all my designs are unique, but the truth is a lot of them share the same characteristics. There are hero sections with all the content on one side, there's a row of logos, there's a checkerboard pattern, there's a CTA, and lots of other sections that end up getting repeated. Of course, you may end up styling these completely different depending on the website, but the underlying structure is the same no matter what. Now, there are a couple ways you can handle this inside of the block editor. You could save this as a reusable block, but the problem I have with that is that they get linked together, and if you're not careful, you may start changing things on other pages because they're all linked. You could register these as a block pattern, but that process is kind of cumbersome if you want to add all the code, or you have to go add an additional plugin to do that through the UI. Now, Generate Blocks Pro has the local patterns feature, which works great, except to get to all the local patterns, you have to go through a lot of clicks. You have to add the local pattern block, you have to click onto the local patterns, and then you have to select the actual pattern you want. It takes a lot of steps to get that done. But I think I've found the most efficient way to do this, and it's using the combination of blocks with text expander. With these combination of tools, I can lay out an entire web page in just seconds. So today we're going to take a look at how you can do that too. So if you haven't used Text Expander before, let me give you just a quick demo. We'll go here and we'll click the plus button to add a new snippet. We'll type in whatever we want to expand when we command this snippet. We'll give it a label. And for this one, we'll just make the abbreviation email. So for this particular set of snippets, I have a colon as the prefix. So now if I type a colon and then the abbreviation and hit space, it will go ahead and expand that snippet. Now, this is great for things like emails and website addresses, but you can put just about anything inside of these snippets. And that's exactly where we're going next. So here inside WordPress, what I'm going to do is design a typical hero section. So I'm going to start with adding a container. We'll go ahead and give this a little bit of padding. Inside of it, we'll add a grid block. We'll make it one column and make this first column 50% width. Inside here, we can do a heading. We'll do an H1 and we'll say, this is my heading. Underneath it, I'll use text expander where I keep a little bit of website Ipsum. And then we'll add a button. Inside the button, we can say, click here. And maybe even go to this button container and give it just a little bit more space. Now it's important if you're setting these up that you want to go ahead and make sure that it's responsive. So we'll go to the tablet view and here, instead of taking up 50%, we'll do 66%. And on mobile, it's going to go to hundred percent, but I do want to reduce the padding from 24 pixels to 16 pixels. So now we have this entire section all set up and ready to go. What we need to do next is click the kebab menu and click copy block. Now we'll open text expander back up. We'll click the plus button to add a new snippet. We'll paste in the code we got from copying our block and we'll give it a label. So here we'll say demo hero. For the abbreviation, we'll say demo hyphen hero. Now with that saved inside text expander, we can delete this container out and we can type in our colon demo hyphen hero. And as soon as we expand that, we have the entire section already pasted in and ready to go. And of course, everything's already mobile responsive, just like we set it up in the first place. Now to show you the power of this, I've actually set up some sections already. So let's say we were getting ready to build a new website and we just kind of wanted to wireframe things out. We can type in hero. Then you might have a section of logos. Underneath that, we can have a checkerboard section. This is one of those sections where we have the text on one side, the image on the other, and then it flip flops. Of course, I've already set this up to be mobile responsive that the image always comes first. And then underneath that, we can add a CTA. So just like that, with a few keystrokes, we have a hero section, a section of logos, this checkerboard section, and the CTA section all ready to go. Now, if your mind isn't blown already, check this out. This actually works across multiple sites and will inherit your theme settings. So for example, on this first demo site, you'll see I'm using a serif font, and this button color is this bluish purplish color. But here's a completely different install. If I type in my command for hero, you'll see that it's brought it in and it's using this sans serif font with the red button. Now this works because I've set all the typography settings inside the customizer and I've used the same naming conventions for these colors. Here, this color is called accent two and on this first site, we click on the color and it's using accent two. So this would work if you're using the default colors that come with generate press or you use the same naming convention across sites. But it gets even better than that. 
we can actually take advantage of the global styles inside Generate Blocks Pro. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and put a heading in here. We'll make it a div and we'll call it pre-heading. Now over here in the global styles, I will tick this on and I have a global style for pre-heading. What this does is make all the letters uppercase and then add a little bit of letter spacing. I actually wanna go in here and add just a little bit more bottom margin to it as well. Now I can grab this container, copy the blocks, head into text expander, start a new one, We'll paste this in, we'll call this hero with pre-header. And just to make it easy, we'll call it pre-hero for the abbreviation. Now I can go over to the other demo site. We'll just delete this one out of here and we'll do colon pre-hero. Now it's pasted this in and it's using that same global style because I've used the same naming conventions for the global styles across different sites. I do this because I've set up a bunch of global styles inside of my starter site, so they're all ready to go. Now you do have to be careful if you use images inside of this, because it's really gonna hot link back to wherever that original image was hosted. So just be careful if you are embedding some kind of URLs in there, that those images stay hosted or that you know to replace them. Now this system's really gonna speed up the way I build things. Of course, there's some other ways to get around it, but I think just using keyboard commands has gotta be the quickest way to get it done. But you don't have to use Generate Blocks or Text Expander to get this work. There are plenty of snippet plugins and you can use any of the block packages and use these same principles. So you could use something like Alfred and Cadence Blocks and achieve the same kind of results. If you'd like to learn more about Text Expander, I actually interviewed one of their employees, which you can see popping up here. Or if you'd like to see some more WordPress productivity hacks, you can catch those here.